Hello and welcome to the video and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my new Kranzel pressure washer. So this is the Kranzel HD10 stroke 122TS, uh, otherwise known as the K10122. Start with, let's have a look, open it up and see what we've got inside it. So if we open it up, say hello to your new favourite tool. Uh, inside we have 10 metres of hose. It's well packed up, the paper there. We've got uh, the gun and the lance, uh, which are a quick lock gun and lance. We've also got the manual and the spares book. You two! Hey! And then we've got the pressure washer itself, which is well, sorry, dogs are barking, well packed up. Now this is a bit of a beast for an electric pressure washer. It is 23 kilograms, so it's not light. So if we have a quick look around the, uh, the pressure washer itself, it comes with five meters of cable with it. Uh, you've got a pressure gauge there and you've got this little black box here is the TS or the total stop. Now what that is, is when you take your finger off the trigger it cuts it off uh, and that helps reduce the pressure or the wear on the pump and the engine while it's running. It is a 240 volt uh, pressure washer, really nice thick cable, um, that's not really nice, good quality cable there and you've got your sealed in plug there. The pressure washer runs at 2.5 kilowatts, so it is a hefty machine. As you can see when you look around it, it is really well made. Mounted on this nice sled here, uh, it's very robust. Uh, rubber mounts on the bottom so to take out any vibration. If you look at the pump itself, really good quality brass pump. This is going to last for ages. On this pressure washer also, you've got a screw here, a thread here, and that adjusts the pressure. Uh, really good uh, amount of pressure there, you just adjust, I think it goes from between 20 bar to 120 bar. This pressure washer being the K10, puts out 10 litres of water a minute. The K7, as the name says, puts out seven uh, litres of water a minute. You've got the, your, on the top there, you've got your pressure gauge, really handy, so you can actually see what it's running at. If you see, there's liquid in there. I think this might be something like glycerin. Uh, it's meant to be there. It, what happens is that liquid that's in the, the uh, pressure gauge, that takes the vibration out of it, makes it a lot easier to read. The gearbox in it uh, has got oil in it. So you've got your filler cap there for your oil, and then underneath you've got your drain cap. So you need regular maintenance on that. The outlet to it is a 22 mil thread, and you've also got your garden hose attachment there, uh, which is your standard garden tap attachment there. In the box, in case you don't want to use the garden hose attachment or the garden tap attachment, you have also got a barbed uh, attachment there. So if you've got it set up in a shop, say if you're um, a car detailer or something like that, you're not using it as mobile, you're using it set up. You can put it on with the barb connector there and then Jubilee clip the, uh, the hose onto it if you're never gonna be taking it on and off. So that all comes with it in the box as well. You've also got your pressure washer gun. This has got Kranzel's quick lock system on it. So very easy to use on and off. There are loads of different ones. This is the standard one that comes with it. Quite a nice gun there. Uh, you've also got your lock, your trigger lock on it. 
So if you leave it unattended and there's kids around, you can lock that and they can't turn it on by mistake. Again, you've got your 22 mil threaded hose uh, attachment there. Your hose that comes with it, braided hose, uh, 210 bar, quarter inch hose, and that's braided. And then you've got your 22 mil connection on either end of it there as well. Um, so your 22 mil, both female connectors, want to connect onto your gun and want to connect onto your pressure washer. So let's start it up. We'll have a quick go with it and we'll see how it performs. When you start up, before you turn your pressure washer on, you want to make sure that you're not getting any air inside your pump. So with your hose attached to your gun and to your pressure washer, first get your hose, and this one's got a water stop on it. So just to make sure, make sure the water's coming through. Once you know the, the hose is full and it hasn't got air block locks in it, you can then plug that into your pressure washer. So that should be filling your pump now. Now what you want to do is turn your gun on. So turn your gun on and you hear air coming out of it. Then you see the water start to run. Now wait until all air has come out before you do anything else. Once you've got all the air out of it, then you can plug your pressure washer in. So you know there's not going to be any air in the pump. If you leave it with air in the pump, it causes something called cavitation, which stops it from sucking properly. So now let's plug it in. And we can turn it on now. There's, so we've got the big button at the back. Turn it on and you heard it come on. And then you can start your pressure washing. So I'll move the pump, the pump back, the pressure washer back out the way, and I'll just give this bit of a yard here that's gone a bit green a bit of a quick wash, and we'll see how it works. So that seems to really cut through the dirt. Uh, only 120 bar and 10 litres a minute, but it seems to work really well. But as I said, I won't be using this much of the time anyway. I'm going to be using an 18 foot lance. So I'll just show you the lance quickly. This is my 18 foot lance. Uh, can only just get it all in shot. Um, quarter inch hose on it. This is available from Equip to Clean. I'll leave a link to that below. This has got the uh, quick release on the end. So I've just screwed a 22 mil to quick release onto the end of there. Uh, that goes on there. And then this comes with the extension with a quick release on there with your interchangeable uh, different nozzles, different jets that you want. So we've got 40, 40 degree of here, 25 and zero degree. So those are just a few I've picked up. I've also got a small turbo nozzle that fits this. Uh, unfortunately, that's buried in the bottom of the van underneath all the other pressure washing stuff, which I'm gonna use after the weekend. That just screws onto the end of the lance. And then we'll just pressure wash the other bit of that green off this bit of yard here, uh, just to clean it up, see how well it works with the lance. The lance I've been using for doing uh, fascias, gutters, um, cladding, that sort of thing, really worked well so far. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't use it on gutters and cladding, but I've had no problem. Uh, and I know plenty of other people that use it done hundreds of them and never had a problem with it. So I'm gonna carry on using this, works well for me, uh, really makes life easier, much easier than scrubbing. So we'll give this a wash off now with the lance and see how this performs with a 40 inch, 40 degree nozzle on it.
So you can see there, that has brought that up really clean, no problem at all in seconds. So the reason I've bought the Kranzel, not as some people I think after they saw it on my Instagram account, uh, I put pictures on it, I had comments like, oh with those sort of uh, outputs you're wasting your time with it. Well I'm not planning on pressure washing drives and patios such like with this. This is purely for gutters, cladding, that sort of thing and I'll be using it with an 18 foot lance. So. I'm not planning on pressure washing. I've got a 21 litre a minute uh, dual pumps machine and that's what I use for all my patios and things. So I won't be using this for doing drives. So what you saw there was literally the very first time I'd used this. Uh, I'd taken out the box to photograph it, then put it back in. Uh, but this is the, that was the very first time I'd used it. Really pleased with it. If you want to see how I'll get on with it, keep watching the channel. If I do any jobs with it, I'll try and film them as long as it's okay with the customers and I'll show you it out and working. If you're interested in getting Kranzel, just to let you know, this hasn't been sponsored in any way. Um, I haven't been, I paid for this with my own money, I haven't been asked to make it, uh, I just make the content to put on my channel. Uh, this is something that I wanted for me, uh, so I haven't been sent it, bought it. So what I will do is leave a link below in the description to the official Kranzel website. If you go onto that, you can find an official Kranzel dealer near you. I used the clean machine in Telford, uh, they bought this, I bought this from them, they were really good but when I rang them up uh, they hadn't got it in stock, they let me know exactly when it was coming into stock and I went and picked it up. Also the 18 foot lance, uh, again I've been really pleased with this from equipped to clean. Um, it's not the most rigid and it's not the lightest but if it's something you just want to get started with and give it a go it's 130 quid I think so definitely worth a, uh, a go with these. Um, I really like using that so again I'll leave the link in the description below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, bye for now.